So this is a review of the PowerFist 80 amp inverter base DC stick arc welder from Princess Auto. Just going to give you my impressions of it. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, trying to build a, a barbecue smoker from an old expansion tank. Stay tuned if you're interested in a video like that. And uh, so I'm just going to go over my impressions of this welder. Uh, so far, really, really liking this welder. It's a small little tiny unit. Uh, my buddy picked up one as well after trying it. Um, it's small, it's light, like it weighs like nothing at all. It's tiny, it might be maybe 10 inches across, I think. Um, it's awesome. Little handle, it's got a shoulder strap, power button back here, fins for cooling, there's a fan, blows air out there, on the front of it here, it's got, I'll flick it on, so you can hear the fan, it's a uh, power light, this is for the duty cycle, I believe, uh, it's a 20% duty cycle, so every 10 minutes you can weld 2 minutes, continuous, unless uh, unless you're in obviously hotter weather or something and it causes the unit to be uh, to overheat. Um, it's got a variable dial so it doesn't click for your amperage setting and the amperage setting goes all the way from 20 to 75. Put this in on that. Some the connectors for the leads are brass. Like that. fit nicely. So what comes with it? The welder, welding leads for your positive and your negative, electrode holder, your rod holder here, that seems to be of pretty good quality, multi-angle, multi-position, uh, nice strong grip on the rods, comes with this little rinky dinky chipping brush, um, I have really no use for that. But anyways, it comes with it, I guess, if, uh, if you don't have anything. I just recommend getting a good chipping hammer. So, uh, I originally learned how to weld on an old uh, Lincoln AC-DC buzz box. And what makes this unit really unique in the, is that it is, um, it's inverter-based and in, it changes over to DC current. I don't know a lot about that technology. I just know from reading and from my personal practical experience that using... DC current produces a much smoother weld. AC current, probably because it's alternating current, um, because it cycles on and off, it's not as smooth. Um, there are apparently special applications where AC is needed. I think it's less likely to blow out the arc in confined spaces, depending on the rod you're using. I don't know much about that. Anyways, DC for just your practical at home use is is really nice. It's smooth. Um, produce this unit seems to produce really great welds. I'm going to uh, append a video at the end here of uh, my buddy actually welding with it. it uh, you can judge for yourself how smooth it sounds. Uh, okay, so the rod size you can use with this thing. Um, so this is a 1 16 60 13. Um, welds those, no problem. And the max size you can go up to is like a 3 30 second. I don't know if I can focus in on this, but anyways. Um, a 330 second rod. I've run 6013, 6011, and 7018 uh, through this machine. Works, uh, runs great. Works really well with all of those rods. Have haven't had any problems with it. Um, so the leads, uh, the leads that come with it, the length, the uh, ground clamp is around seven seven feet, and the the actual positive, the actual. Uh, arc electrode holder is around I think nine feet. I didn't quite measure it but this is eight feet and it's slightly longer than than this board, this table here. The other thing about this as I read is because it's an inverter based uh, welder you can uh, put a scrap, you can convert it to a scratch start TIG welder. Um, you can buy like the, the, the torch and the the gas system and you can plug it into this and you can convert it to do some really really basic TIG welding. 
uh, I might do that. I don't know. I don't really have a big need for it, but it's just something I've read. And it has something to do with using the DC current, so, and the inverter technology that allows you to do that, as opposed to, like, a, a regular AC welder. Um, this, this unit here is light, works great, so my overall impressions, really, really good. Um, so at the end of this video, I'll pen uh, a video and some some pics of the of the welds. Uh, by no means are my welds or my friend's welds very good, so don't judge us on that. It's just uh, this unit just seems to work really well, and in the hands of a capable welder, uh, it, this should run really nice, smooth beads. Uh, I've uh, I've had this for a few weeks now, and uh, I've only gotten to use it a few times, but so far, really, really great. So that's the that's my impressions of this welder. So that's all that comes with it. But you know what? It's a great deal and it works. That's the main thing. I've used some cheaper, crappy AC welders. Um, they just did 110 welders and it just wouldn't weld. I'm really surprised at how well this can run a 332nd, 332 um, electrode. Uh, so you can actually weld stuff that's a, a little more substantial up to like an eighth of an inch uh, thick. So. Um, that's it. That's all it came with. It was just a box, the welder, the leads, and the crappy uh, chipping hammer brush. Alrighty. Thanks for watching and check out the welding video at the end here. How's that? Oh, good. Oh, oh yeah, that's a nice bead. Just have to slide let me, it off. Let me uh, go grab a hammer. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good penetration. Yeah, that's laying down there good. That's really nice.